Hello, I am Petru from Gulian Technology. Today I would like to show you how you can backup your Cisco device. Make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gulian.uk. Let's get started. In case your Cisco iOS software is corrupted or you lose your Cisco configuration, you will have a backup and you'll be able to restore it. In order to backup your Cisco device, you will need to follow the following steps. I am using a pretty, la a pretty simple environment. All my devices are in the same local area network. The area, local area network is uh, 172.16.10.0/24. My Ubuntu machine has the IP address 172.16.10.100 and my Cisco device, my Cisco switch has the IP address 172.16.10.5. On my Ubuntu machine I am running a TFTP server. I will save the files on, a TFT, on the TFTP server, but you can also use an FTP server. The requirements for replicating this environment is a Cisco uh, device for which you want to take a backup and a Linux server on which is you are running a TFTP or an FTP server. In order to confirm that the TFTP server is up and running on the Linux machine run the command systemctl status tftp hpa.service as you can see the TFTP server is up and running let's confirm that we are still connected on the Cisco device so let's run the command show version as you can see i am running cisco ios software version 12.255 se10 and i am running it on a cisco switch the model of the cisco of the switch is c2960 We have confirmed already that TFTP is running on my Ubuntu machine. Now we need, before uh, backing up the Cisco iOS software and the startup config, we need to save the current running config. For this, you will need to run the command copy running config to startup config and press enter. We have saved right now the current configuration of the Cisco device to the startup config. When the Cisco device boots, it loads the startup config file from the NVRAM and the Cisco device has a, a running config. Now we need to confirm that the TFTP server is reachable from the Cisco device. For this, I will run the command ping 172.16.10.100 As I mentioned, my Ubuntu uh, server on which TFTP is running has this IP address. I will press enter. As we can see, uh, the connectivity is there. I am able to reach the TFTP server. Now we need to check the device file system to know where exactly are the Cisco iOS software saved and where the startup config is saved. I will run the command show file system show file systems and I will press enter. As you can see this device has a couple of system file systems. We have some network file systems which can be reachable through various protocols. In our case we'll use the TFTP uh, will uh, will 
save the files on the TFTP server. We have the flash where usually the Cisco iOS software is stored. We have the MVRAM where the startup config is by default stored. In order to check the flash file system, you need to run the command show flash and press enter. Here we have multiple files. The Cisco iOS software is this file, so we will need to backup this file. Let's check also the NVRAM. For this I will run the command dir nvram and press enter. We have a few files here. We are interested in the startup config file and we'll backup, we'll copy this file to the TFTP server. In order to copy the Cisco iOS software and the startup config file on your TFTP server, you need to run a similar command copy flash I will start with the Cisco iOS software copy flash tftp I will copy the source file name from here this is the Cisco iOS software that needs to be back up, backed up this is the Cisco image that is used for the switch to, to, to run this is the Cisco switch is running this software this is the Cisco iOS software we need to back up back it up and we need to specify the source file name this is the source file name now we need to specify the address or the name of the remote host in our case the IP address is 172.16.10.100 now you can specify the destination file name I will use the same file name and I will press enter and as you can see the, config, the backup has started right now we are copying so the file is copied to the TFTP server let's wait a couple of seconds until the backup is finished and we will copy after that the startup config to the TFTP server okay so we can see that the backup has finished now let's copy the startup config to the TFTP server I will run the command copy and the RAM TFTP and I will press enter the source file name, as I mentioned, is here. It's startup config. I will copy it. I will paste it here. I will press enter. I will add one more time the IP address of my TFTP server. And I will press enter. I will leave the name of the file as it is suggested by the Cisco device. And I will press enter. This time the backup was faster, as you can see. And the file was copied to a TFTP server. Now let's go to the Cisco, let's go to a TFTP server and confirm that the files are on the Linux machine. Um, I have saved the files in the directory slash TMP slash TFTP. Uh, as you can see, both files are there let me go let me go to directory slash tmp slash tftp now after we after you have after you have uh, copied the files on the tftp server we need to confirm that the files were not uh, changed during the transfer for this you can run the following command verify oops let me, let me run the, so i will run 
Ah, now I know. I misspelled the verify command. So verify and I will use md5 to compute uh, a hash for the file for the Cisco iOS software and for the startup uh, config file and I will do the same thing on the Linux machine and I will compare the results. If the results, if the hash from the switch is the same as the hash from the Ubuntu machine, we know that the file was copied uh, okay, uh, the file was not modified during the transmission and this means that in case you need the file to restore the Cisco iOS software or to restore the startup config file, you can do it without any pr problem. Now let's uh, run the, um, uh, the command verify md5 and I will start with the uh, I will start to, to check the the flash first flash and the file name as you remember is C2916 I will have 55 this is the file and I will compute a hash an md5 hash for this file it will take a couple of seconds so be patient Okay, the operation has completed, as you can see, so this is the file and this is the hash that was generated. Okay, I will run the same command for the startup config and the run and let me run startup config and I will press enter. This is the hash for the startup config file. Now I will uh, generate the same hash on the Linux machine. So on the Linux machine, the command is md5sum. Oops. And let's specify the file. I will I will save the output into a new into a file. The file will be iOS. Txt, for example, I will run the same command for the startup config file and I will save it into the conf switch conf.txt file. I will copy the output from here. This is the output of the Cisco iOS file. I will copy this output. I will go to the Ubuntu machine. I will run an echo command. And I will save the same output into the iOS.txt. I will do the same thing for the startup config file. This is the MD5, the hash. I will copy it. I will go back to the Ubuntu terminal. And I will copy this into a switch uh, switch dash conf .txt file. So here I am using echo. I am um, echo is a command that uh, prints the output of a standard uh, to the on the terminal on the standard output. Here I am redirecting the output to the file. Now I will compare the results to confirm if the transmission was correct, was without any errors. I will copy this output. Oops. I will paste here and I will run this grep command on the iOS.txt file. As you can see, both hashes are the same i will do i will run a similar grep command for the startup config file the output of the grep command as you can see is the same so 
This confirms that both files were copied and there was no uh, change during the transmission. So both files are was, were not modified during the transmission. This means that in case you need to uh, restore the Cisco iOS on your Cisco on your Cisco device, it will work fine. The Cisco switch will boot the iOS image. And if you want to restore the starter config, you can do it without any problem uh, because, as you can see, the files were no, not modified during the transmission. So, in this video, I showed you the steps that you need to take in order to back, back up your Cisco device. We have copied the Cisco iOS software and the startup config on a TFTP server and we have confi confirmed that the files were not changed during the transmission over the network and are safe to use for the restore process. I hope you find this video useful. Share it on social media so that other people can watch it. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a nice day. Bye.